Alright you guys, Kaisma here and today this is a custom shape logo tutorial and without anything else to say, let's get started. Well this is a follow up to my custom text logo. Uh, so let's get started, this is a, well I've just done that wrong so let's undo that. Uh, make a new layer first off, take the marquee tool and make a square. This is the easiest one I'm going to do for you guys just to show some shortcuts and what to do to make a custom logo. So this is for a square kind of shape logo, you can use circles, anything you like. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to take, do is take the pen tool, take the pen tool from one corner roughly to the other corner. That's pretty nice, so let's go through both corners. I'm going to select one side of the square and right click, make selection, OK. Back to the marquee tool which is M for the short key and layer via cut. This cuts the layer away as you can see now we've got two sides, two layers and I'm just going to move this one down and along by like 20 pixels. Now let's make it 10. So to do that if you hold shift press down or up or sideways that's 10 pixels each time you click that direction. So now I'm going to actually quickly just Select both layers, Control T, which is the transform tool. Holding down Shift, rotate it 45 degrees, which is about there. Click Enter. Back to the marquee tool. I'm actually going to make it 20 pixels uh, of height, which you kind of need CS6 to do, or you can just gauge with your eye what looks better in any older programs that you're maybe using, like CS5, I've got both, but uh, after you've done that, all you want to do now is select the layer that the marquee tool is over, which would be this bottom layer, and click delete, and as you can see, this just makes it a kind of line through the middle, so it looks like it's cut in three bits now, so what I'm going to do now is remaining on this shape, I'm going to use the marquee tool to go around, and then I'm going to copy the right click layer via copy. So this has got this triangle here. Uh, I'm actually going to undo that, invert it. So you see it's white, control T, transform tool, make it a bit smaller. So just about that. This is just roughly so you guys can see what I'm basically trying to do. And all you do now is control on that layer, click the mini preview and go back to the layer that you want to cut hide it hide the white layer that you've just made and as you see this marquee tool is going around about so what you could do is either layer via cut uh, which will cut it away again and if you want to do it like something just so it looks like a chunk's been took out uh, you could do it like that or you can fully delete it it's up to you so uh, what I'm going to do is keep it uh, a bit like this, but I'm actually going to so delete the white layer that I've just made. Highlight all of them, control T again, and move it another 45 degrees. So, there you go. Now, I'm going to select the marquee tool, go back to this little triangle that I've made, this one here. Just so everything fits inside a box. Just to make it a little nicer and clean. I'm going to delete the overhang, so as you can see, it looks like it's split, and it's like a an arrow coming into the side of it. Uh, you also could do something with the pen tool here. You could uh, come inside this shape, just make a random shape here for you. Something along the lines of something random. This is just random to show you what you can do. Uh, make selection, OK. Go to the layer you're on and delete. So as you can see, just a random tutorial, well not random tutorial, but just a random shape so you can either insert an image uh, or another logo, say a team logo or something that you may be in. Just and take it, pen tool it out, make selection and like convert it into this path here. And uh, delete it so it looks like the logo's impressed into the logo so uh, if that makes sense but basically the last stage before you're done is highlight them all control and E which merges all the layers and there you go so that's your whole 
logo done and uh, stuff like that. So it's been a very quick tutorial today. Uh, please, in the comment section, ask for another tutorial that you may may want to see or uh, may need help on. Any help, just leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you uh, with the answer. Uh, add me on, feel free to add me on Skype. All the things are in the description as usual. I'm Kesma and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.